Germany. I was in Lothny. He was in Lubbock. And he was in Lubbock. And I was driving like crazy. And I didn't know where to turn to. All right. But finally, God, I'm not spiritualized. And he said, you turn to me, I'll take care of him. Hallelujah. The pastor came, and we all prayed together. Amen. And God was intervening. Amen. And they said, come and get your son. He's ready to go home. He said, much better. Come and get your wife. She's ready. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Somebody sat down one day with a pen and paper and wrote this. Um, I just want to tell you what the good Lord has done for me. Uh -huh. I just want to tell you how the good Lord has sent me All free. Right. Amen. How he picked me up and turned me around. How he set my feet in the solid ground. Right. Amen. Yeah. I just want to tell you what the good Lord has done for me. Amen. When you, when you are what we, I mean, we are what we are, what we are because of Jesus. Right. Yes. Jesus is the author yes. of my testimony. Yes. Amen. It is what he, he has done for us. All right. Amen. That we are the church ah, here yeah. this morning. Right. Amen. I need to tell you that we were lost. Come but on. Now we are found. Right. And the fact is this, church. Come on. The fact is this. That when you when you know him, you will love him. All right. Come on. When you know him, Hallelujah. you are in love with him. You fall in love. You will love him more than anybody. Come on. Amen. I love him more than my wife. Right, right. Amen. I love him more than my son. I love you more than y'all. I'm sorry about that. But he, he comes first in my life. Amen. He comes first in my life. Whether you say the thing, amen. But when we know that he loves us and we love him, Come on. And we have that connection together. Amen. That can separate us. All right, all right. Not even the world can separate us. Not even my wife can separate us. Right. Not even my son. Not even God can separate us from loving him. Praise God. Amen. I need to tell you, you, when you love him more than anybody, come on. You will love him more than anything. Yeah. All right, all right. Because you know that he has done for you what nobody else. Nobody else. Amen. Nobody else, nobody else can do. Amen. Or nothing <laughs> else can do. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You will love him because, amen, mm. of his stripes on his back. All right, all right. That's for healing. Come, Come on. on. Amen. That's for healing. Our iniquities. Amen. For his stripes. You are healed, healed. in his name. Who's for our Amen. And I'm here to tell you of the, the blood that he shed. Right. Amen. That's for cleansing. Oh, my God. God. Thank you, Lord. That's for cleansing. Cleansing. Amen. His blood cleansed yes. you. Yes. <laughs> Amen. He's baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The crown of thorns on his head. Uh, Amen. I'm here to tell you he's everything to my God. Amen. Thank you, the Lord. The spear that pierced his side. Amen. That was a broken heart. Amen. You will love him because, because he first loved you. He came to you. Amen. Aren't you glad that this Jesus came to you, brother Bill? Amen. I need to tell you, church, we serve a big God. Amen. This Jesus can come to you and say, I know. All right. I know what you've done. Come on. I know where you've been. But that's okay, son. That's okay, daughter. I love you. Yeah. If you come with forgiveness from your Repentance. heart, I will forgive you. I will pardon you. Yes. Amen. And I will forgive you. Amen. I'm here to tell you. You will love him because, 
Amen. Because he called you out of darkness. Hallelujah. Right. Light. Because he died for you. You will love him. <laughs> he changed your life. Amen. And how many of you have been changed? Yes. Yeah. Amen. I need to tell you, church, if you don't change, then nothing changes. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. But if you change, in Jesus' name, All right. amen, something will change. Something's got it. Something the way you change. walk, the way you talk, amen, the way you do things, amen, the way where you go, amen, God will change you dramatically. Oh, yeah. Amen. I'm going to tell you, he changed your attitude. All right. Amen. The other day, huh, there were some students that there that were just throwing a fit, and I just I just passed through them, and the teacher, she was on, she had a sad face. And I just looked at them, I just looked at them like this. <laughs> and then I went, do I smell a bad attitude? Yeah. <laughs> I smell a bad attitude in, in all of you. And I said, you need to, to help your teacher. Mm -hmm. You need to respect your teacher, <laughs> your elder. That's where I from the old, old school. school. Amen. Amen. Aren't you glad that Jesus took that attitude away from every man? I used to have a bad attitude. Amen. I used to, oh man, I used to be a mean cuss. I mean, I'm telling you what. Uh, there was one time a uh, guy stepped in my brand new tank. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. So, oh no, you didn't. Oh. I, I was so mad. I <laughs> turned around and bam! <laughs> he hit him right in the face. Amen. The next day he came with a black eye. <laughs> oh, oh no. Attitude. People look at me. <laughs> that brother Neil was looking at me. And I was going to do I owe you something? Do I owe you something? Oh my, uh, you something? Uh, oh my I gosh. Go up to the enemy and I just I had some bad attitude. There were some times where they even paid me. Hey, would you go pick up this guy for me? Huh? He'd be in the car sitting down. I still remember he was in the car. I opened the door and I started beating up on him just because. Just because. My God. My God. And if he didn't give me the money, I would beat him up too. <laughs> That's that bad attitude I used to have, Sister Wanda. That's how mean I was. Amen. Can you believe the pastor made that to you? Yeah. Uh, he was... Attitude. Church, remember when you had that attitude? Mm -hmm. huh? Bad attitude. But you know what? Oh, Sister, uh, Sister Ernest didn't have that at all. But you know what? Jesus. 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 Uh -oh. <coughs> I step on somebody's toes. Pride. Step on my toes. Step oh. on my toes. I got pride. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. everybody acts so bad. Pride. Yeah. <coughs> All kinds. I mean, pride. I mean, hey, I can do it my way. Uh oh. I can do this my way. Do it my way. Jesus took that pride away from me. And I say now, I do the Jesus way. All right. Amen. Jesus way. Yes. Right away from me. Amen. Praise God. I'm here to tell you. <laughs> Jesus is the author and the finisher. Yes. Amen. He died for you. Amen. You will love him because he changed your, your life. And he's changed your heart. Hallelujah. Ah, Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He changed my heart. Yes. Hey, when I had one of the darkest, I was as black as this. 
My, my God. <laughs> my heart, I would hate people. Yeah. Come on. Hate people. I would hate even teachers. I was so mean to the teachers. You'd be surprised what I used to do. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> yeah. I'll tell you what, one day I, I came in, I bought me, uh, it was close to 4th of July, and I bought me some black cat, big old black cat, long, and, and I decided to put it under the teacher's locker that they had in that classroom, and I lighted it up, and it just started making so money, so much racket, and she was about to do her duty as teacher. She got <coughs> so scared that she got under her desk. <laughs> And I was just laughing. <laughs> and the other people were just looking at me. And they knew that it was me. And they knew that it, they would tell that I would come and haunt them for the rest of their lives. They knew. They would be prosecuted. Amen. I had one of the blackest hearts. I'm telling you. My God, my God. Amen. Praise but God. Now, let God bleed. Yes. Right. right. Yes. Amen. Do you Praise really God. know him this morning, church? Can 